So all the LSOs are pilots. So um, so they know what it's like. So they they wave on one day. That what we call waving is when you're being LSO, which means essentially goes back to the old days when the LSOs actually had paddles. We're also called paddles, by the way. And they had paddles, and they'd use them to show if you're high or low to come left or right. And if you see some of the old World War II movies, you can see the guys on the flight deck doing that. Um, <coughs> anyway, so normally you have you have a in, in any air wing on a carrier you have two senior LSOs which are attached to the air wing and they're they've been around a long time and they're called the, the wing LSOs uh, or the CAG LSOs as we call them for short and then you have all within all the squadrons there's one or two two squad, uh, LSOs that are under training and, and it takes about to get fully qualified as an LSO is probably about a two-year evolution so it takes a long time to get fully qualified to wave everything day and night and uh, and I wound up being an LSO for almost, uh, well, I did it in my first squadron, which was three and a half years, and then I did it in the uh, training squadron for another two and a half years, and then I went back to be a wing LSO for another three years. So almost, you know, almost ten years of, of being in a, a, an LSO. Um, so it's a very challenging job, and it's kind of an art form. It, it, everything is, the, as the airplane comes down, you just learn, you can, you can get a feel for the airplane, and what, what his power setting is, you can look at it, his attitude. And if you look at the front end of an airplane, you have the indexers that you'll see in your cockpit, you know, in your in your in the F-18 cockpit up on the you'll see a little arrows. There'll be like a carrot at the top, like a V, and then an upside down V, and then a donut, and that's your angle of attack. So what you want to do is keep that donut, that amber donut, that means you're on speed, because we all fly a constant angle of attack at the ship. There's no flare, you just fly a constant rate of descent all the way to touchdown. And that rate of descent, by the way, is around six to seven hundred feet per minute all the, all the way down the glide slope. Um, so, but the LSOs you have when you're out there waving as an LSO, there's probably going to be about as little as four and maybe as many as eight or ten guys or women out there being LSOs because they're all in different training. So the senior LSO sort of sits back as the Grand Poobah gives, sits back on the radio and uh, on a backup phone headset and then you let the younger you know, you, the younger LSOs train, and then you have somebody more experienced behind them. So you basically have, you, you sort of like, as a senior air wing LSO, you're sort of a coach until things really get bad, bad weather, bad night, airplane problems or something, then the, then the senior air wing LSO will waive the, those passes, the ones that really need the, uh, the care and feeding, so to speak. If, they have, if somebody has a major emergency engine out or, you know, or hydraulic failures or, or the weather's really bad.